there is another category of infertility which is often labeled by doctors as unexplained infertility this means you have been through all the possible tests such as a sperm test a hysterosalpingography maybe a laparoscopy to check your fallopian tubes you have had all the hormone tests such as serum fsh lh prolactin tsh and even amh levels all the reports are normal and you have been told oh it's just a matter of time you can wait it may take a year a couple of years but sooner or later you will get pregnant unfortunately this doesn't always happen in real life and this is because research has now proved that a lot of these patients of unexplained infertility actually do have a lot of serious problems these may be in the form of bad eggs failed fertilization that means the egg is not being fertilized by the husband's sperm the sperm is unable to break the hard shell of the egg there are some subtle anomalies in tubal function so the tube although it is open cannot pick up the egg properly cannot give a good environment for egg and sperm to meet or cannot send the embryo to the uterus for final implantation or there is some problem in the uterus which makes it unreceptive to the embryo and implantation now this is where the problem lies that a lot of these patients are under a myth or in a cloud or in a zone where they feel that they do not have any problem and where is the need to do an ivf and that is where i would like to stress that this is exactly the category of patients where we recommend that not only ivf but icsi where we can ensure that the eggs are fertilized in the laboratory should be the treatment of first choice for this particular category of patients it is extremely successful to the tune of 50% per cycle especially with fresh embryo transfer and 60 to 65% with frozen or vitrified embryo transfer